What's good? It's Timeless Rock with TR Mentality, man. Before we get into the video, make sure y'all own y'all own shit. And in this video, we're gonna talk about how to stay motivated as an independent artist. Let's get into the intro. <laughs> Now, before we get into this video, man, make sure you go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram at Timeless Rock Music. And also, go ahead and share this video with anybody who can relate and need this information. So now, this video is going to be a very honest video, man. So if you're somebody who feel like you're going to get triggered, then this might not be the video for you. But if you really want to know how you as an upcoming independent artist can stay motivated during the journey to success, especially when you got so much things going on in your life, then you definitely want to stick around for this full video, man, because we're going to talk about some real shit in this video. Let's go ahead and get into it now i speak about time management all the time when it comes to being a music artist man this is one of the hardest things that we're gonna have to deal with trying to balance life and also making music consistently and if you're an artist we talk about content marketing making content for all your social medias that's another thing that you're gonna have to go ahead and chip in so you're just trying to balance everything but this is something that we all have to deal with man and you're gonna have to go ahead and take a look at your life take a look at your goals and make sure you go ahead and prioritize what's most important to you now this most likely should come immediately to your head when you watching this and what i just said that should come immediately to your head what it is that's most important to you in your life now we're gonna go ahead and get started in terms of working a nine to five now now, I don't know everybody's situation who watching this video. You might need that nine to five to go ahead and take care of your monthly expenses and taking care of your family, etc. Now, if that's your case, then you're going to have to go ahead and change your after work habits. After work, instead of watching TV or going ahead and taking that nap, you're going to have to go ahead and record some social media content. Now, recording content is not as time consuming as people think. It does not take as much time. I probably only record like every two weeks or so, and it only take like an hour or two to go ahead and record a certain amount of videos. You can record six videos at a time. You can record 10 videos at a time and it might take an hour or two to go ahead and do that and then if you're an artist after you go ahead and you record your content now you got your content ready it's recorded all it has to do is get edited and posted after that you're gonna have to go ahead and get into the studio this is why i say it's so important to go ahead and own your own shit you gotta have your own studio equipment at the house as you can see i got mine behind me this is so important because when you're low on time and you have to work this nine to five to fund your monthly expenses you have to be able to have easy access to the studio so that when you get off you're able to go ahead and get into the studio you don't have to deal with somebody else schedule you don't need somebody else to come to the studio and help you record you don't need any of that you're able to just go ahead and jump in and you're able to go ahead and record music every single chance you get and you don't have to pay that hourly rate once you go ahead and you get your studio equipment you don't have to pay the hourly rate so that's not cutting into your monthly budget like i said you have the nine to five because you got to fund your monthly expenses the last thing you want and need is to add another expense to the list. So if you're able to save some money to go ahead and get your own studio equipment, rather you get it piece by piece, most of y'all already have a computer at the crib, but if you can go ahead and get a microphone starting from the base level, you can get a microphone for $100 and it'll sound pretty good. You can get an interface for $100 and then everybody most likely got headphones laying around somewhere. So like I said, you can get started with just $300 if you already have a computer and everything like that. And then over time, you'll grow. You'll be able to put more money into investing into the studio. So then boom, that already Already makes time management so much easier in terms of you already have your content filmed and you've been getting in the studio consistently and then also the more often you get into the studio you'll become more efficient so you'll start writing songs faster you'll start getting more done in small amounts of time and at first when you're making that discipline to go ahead and miss out on that nap or leisure time they say it takes 21 days to form a full habit so after a little while of doing that and taking so much discipline to go ahead and get into the studio and still being able to work your job it'll become second nature to you where it just become your day so you know after work boom i'm about to just get into the studio i'm about to go ahead and write some new music and then get your content filmed like i said you're gonna come up with your schedule on how often you're gonna film and how much videos you're gonna film each sit down so then boom we already got that out the way man if you need the job now it comes down to if you're in school now i got a comment recently he was talking about you know parents who force their kids to go to school now the parents might say hey if you want to live in this household you got to go to school now when it comes to that certain thing you know it's hard for me to really give advice on that type of topic because I wouldn't want to give nobody advice that's going to end up putting them out on the street because nobody want to end up in that situation. But what I would say, man, if you somebody and you in school, you got to look at it like, yo, do I see myself going ahead and finishing and getting this degree and doing and following whatever career path that sends me on? Or do I want to put more time into pursuing my music career and posting content on YouTube and all other social media? Because I'm going to be brutally honest, man. When it comes to this music thing and it comes to this YouTube content, you got to show up every single day. You got to put the work in. You got to be consistently posting and 
there's no other options like you're not going to grow if you're not posting or if you're not dropping music consistently or if you're not recording you're not going to grow as an artist and that's just a non-negotiable fact man so if this is something that you see yourself doing you want to be a music artist and you want to get onto this youtube platform something else in your life is just going to suffer naturally rather it is school or rather it is working a nine to five something is going to suffer or you're going to miss out on more sleep you're going to have to have more long nights everything that you want to do in life is so possible and you can make anything happen that you put your mind to it might be harder than somebody else's situation but no matter what you can get through it if you go ahead and you put the right system in place for your life i hope i went ahead and gave y'all some good tips that's gonna really help you stay motivated in your music career also if you somebody that want to grow fast on this youtube platform with your content make sure you go ahead and hit that tube buddy link down below in the description box it's gonna be a free download link to a tool called tube buddy it's a chrome extension it's gonna help you get the best topics to make videos on it's gonna help you pick the right tags for your videos to make sure you're optimized and ready to go ahead and hit the search engine and it's going to give you tips on what's the best topics to talk about with the least amount of competition so make sure you go ahead and hit that link and sign up for tubebuddy right now but i'm gonna go ahead and leave y'all on that note man make sure you go ahead and leave a like on the video and if you're new to the channel go ahead and subscribe and i'm out of here man let's be real i hope you don't find no better. honestly more popping than niggas that say they getting bread came from the bottom i'm coming up they rather see me i ain't coming from the east side to serving in the venom i've been serving in the lemmy screaming fuck a grammy bitches got they pants